not known for confrontation with people. <laughs> so for it to happen to him, it was just mind boggling. An Air National Guardsman found dead in the road after an apparent road rage dispute. And now a man who already served time for murder is charged in the deadly stabbing of Cody Harder. Harder died during a dispute along 470 in Lee Summit on Saturday night. And now his parents are preparing for his funeral and police have made it an arrest. Nicholas Webb is being charged today with murder in the second degree and armed criminal action. And he is being charged um, for the death of Cody Harder. Webb acknowledges the confrontation happened, but is denying the murder. This is not Webb's first murder charge. He was sentenced to 35 years back in 1981. His release came just last year. Harder's death coming as a shock to those who knew him. Now new at 1041 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey went to Harder's hometown in St. Joseph. Well, this week has obviously been a very tough one for family members and friends of Cody Harder, many of whom knew him during their time here at Central High School. One friend even making this special decal in honor of Harder days after his murder. All around nice guy, always willing to help. As a friend of Cody Harder, Ty Bigelow says the two shared a common interest. One day he decided to talk me into getting a dirt bike and I ended up doing it. And from then on, we'd leave on the weekends and go uh, ride dirt bikes. Time spent together on the tracks, leading to a close bond. Showed me every little thing on the bike, like how to do turns, how to change my oil on. A friendship that continued after high school and through Harder's time in the Missouri Air National Guard. But this past weekend brought tragedy. Harder stabbed to death in what police called an apparent road rage murder. He's not known for confrontation with people, <laughs> so. For it to happen to him, it's just mind boggling. A search for a suspect finally ending. With charges filed against Nicholas Webb, Bigelow hopes the focus can now be on remembering harder. Won't bring Cody back, but may just give us a little peace in mind that that guy's not out there. The loss of his good friend leading to Bigelow making special decals featuring the number harder wore in dirt bike races. Reminds of all the good times. Not the bad. A tragedy still tough to believe, but a legacy Bigelow hopes to carry on. Every time I get on my bike, I'm going to remember him. Just wish I could do it with him. After a special remembrance event this evening, tomorrow, friends and family members will gather once again for the funeral of Cody Harder. In St. Joseph, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.